Just had dinner with my mom. I leave tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Leaving Boulder is hard. Leaving my community is hard. But leaving mom is always the hardest. Yep. Mm. I yep. love you. Love you too. And I'll be safe. Be very safe, but have lots of fun. I definitely will have fun. Yeah. And We're practiced at this now. Yeah, we <laughs> We've are. done this a few yeah. times. <laughs> but I'll think so. about you out there. Okay. I love you so much. Love you too. Mm. I love you too. Be very, very safe. No bears. No bears. No bears. Them. No bears. No whammies. No. <laughs> You know, it's not every day that I get to try something new and challenge myself in an entirely new way. Today is May 30th, 2024. On June 14th, two weeks from today, I will be up in Banff, Canada for the start of the Tour Divide. Some of you might be thinking, well, you've already done this. Not really. I did ride most of the route in 2020, back with John and Mira. And we were going at kind of a cruiser pace. We were having fun, we were stopping, we were filming, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. We had a wonderful time out there on the Great Divide mountain bike route. This time is gonna be a little bit different. I am going to be in the race, leaving with the Grand Depart, maybe 200 or so other folks racing down the divide as fast as we can. I am not going to race myself into the dirt. I don't want to be miserable out there. I know a lot of the leaders will be many, many, many days ahead of me. I just want to have a new experience. I want a new personal challenge. And so I think I can do a little bit over 100 miles a day fairly comfortably and still get a full night's rest. That is really important to me. I really am just doing this to try something new, but also to revisit a beautiful experience in my life. And that was the experience in 2020. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the beauty out there once again. And I'm excited to actually see the Canadian section in 2020, I couldn't get up there because of COVID. I will be riding my brand new Priority 600 ADX. This is a bike that I helped design with my friends at Priority Bicycles. It is the new version of the Priority 600X. And back in 2020, I actually rode the prototype of the 600X on the Great Divide mountain bike route. And that led to the 600X. And now I get to bring Bring it home in a way. Bring the new version back to this beautiful route. There it is, my thinking tree. And there's my boulder flat irons. This is where I come to do my, my best thinking and pondering and dreaming and scheming. And Man, it is so beautiful out there. That's my boulder and I love it so much. Tomorrow I leave, I get on the airplane, and I fly to Canada, and this whole adventure starts in two days. And I always get a little tender-hearted before I leave on adventures. So many emotions and thoughts and things swirling in my head and fear, of course, but also, you know, definitely excitement. I'm looking forward to this. I've been dreaming of this for more than a year, planning this for more than a year, and it's time to go in my heart. Feels it. Is that where my heart is? I think so, right under my Casa Bonita shirt. <laughs> but uh, I'm ready. I really feel ready. Physically, mentally, just to go challenge myself, to do something I've never quite done before, to push my body to the limits, but also to have fun and to explore and meet new people, make new friends. I get to ride my bike all day, every day. And that's a dream. And I can't take that for granted, even when it's hard and I'm miserable <laughs> and I want to be done. I have to remember that all I have to do is ride my bike. And that's such a privilege. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And I also need to remember that this isn't the biggest thing in the world, even though I've been slightly obsessing about this for quite a long time. There's a lot more that's way more important than this silly little bike race. And so I'm definitely going to be careful and uh, make it back to Boulder happy and healthy and feeling very accomplished. But until then, from here to that moment, I have a lot of adventure ahead of me. And uh, here we go, let's do it. And look at that. 
Look at my town. Is that real life? Is that real life? Goodbye, cozy bed. <laughs> I will miss your comfort, but uh, now I get to go sleep under the stars. There it is, my tour divide bike. And it's time to go biking. I'm traveling in luxury. Usually I take the bus to the airport, but today I have two special guests driving me to the airport. Hello! <laughs> Hi, Dean and Santa. Goodbye, beautiful boulder. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you so much. All right, there it goes. Send some good juju to my bike, my man. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Sitting here on the cozy DIA carpet. My flight's a little bit delayed. So I'm just sitting here thinking, taking it all in. You know, I love the energy of this place seeing all the travelers from around the world and there's so much excitement and energy here and i personally have so many memories here sometimes really really good memories sometimes really really sad memories like when i left my family for two years when i went off to uh, peace corps um, but right now i'm feeling i'm feeling good i'm feeling ready and uh <laughs> i'm smiling see this this is fun So my seat buddy right here happens to be riding the Tour Divide. Who is this? <laughs> Hi, Krista. Krista. From Leadville. Krista from Leadville, one of my favorite cities in Colorado. And she's not alone. Her boyfriend's up there. Cannon. Cannon's right there. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They're riding a tandem. Hey. That is so cool. It's a heavy one. Oh, there we go. Nice. So one of the reasons why I'm doing the Grand Depart is to make new friends, and I've already made new friends. How's it going, everybody? Hey. Hi! So we have Jody from Steamboat. We've got Tyler and Doug from Kansas. Yep. Have you been training? In Absolutely. the mountains? The mountains of Kansas. Yeah, mountains the mountains of Kansas. Of Kansas. Yeah. The and over here, Kansas. our team the representing Colorado, Leadville, we got Krista and Cannon. All right, it's my first hike a bike of the adventure. My bike is in this Subaru. And I have a new friend. Thank you so much olé, for the olé. ride. Ole, ole. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God. I get to ride my bike in there. I can't believe it. Oh, what a dream. I'm just sitting here looking up to the left and to the right, all over the place. It's breathtaking. I'd always heard about the Canadian Rockies and how nice they are. It is true. Ah, thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you. Nice so to nice fun. to meet you. Yeah, good really. chat. Yeah, it was good. This has been a good entry into Canada. Yeah. Here's my hotel room. I just dragged this up a big flight of stairs. But what I really want you to see is this. Whoa. Look at that. There it is. Yes, of course. I have a bell with me this time. And all that stuff there, and all that stuff there, needs to go on my bike. Check out what I'm eating for breakfast. Not beans. I'm not gonna be able to eat a lot of yogurt and granola on the ride, because I'm gonna be packing mostly candy bars. This ride is sponsored by Snickers, probably. <laughs> uh, I slept okay last night. I'm having a hard time calming down. Oh, wow, I didn't expect to get Oh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> emotions. So many emotions. Oh, you know? Uh, man, I have 24 hours till this thing starts. And uh, I'm scared. You know, it's going to be hard. But uh, from all of the adventures I've done throughout life, the hard moments, the worst times are always the best memories. And that's why I'm out here. I want to challenge myself. I've said that a million times now. I want to challenge myself like I never have and push myself to the limits and uh, see what I can do. And I know it's going to be hard and that's scary, you know? <sighs> yeah. Woo. But I'm really grateful. I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity. I'm going for a little shakeout ride. Whenever I'm feeling 
whenever I'm feeling anything, good or bad, anxious, nervous, riding my bike or running or getting outside makes me feel better, makes me feel grounded. I'm not even a mile from my hotel. I saw these cars stopped and I was like, what's going on? Oh, we have a bear right there, wow. We got some bighorn sheep now. Hi guys. Sometimes my hair looks so gray. Is it because it is gray or is it the lighting? <laughs> Damn it, I'm getting older, I'm 45 now, crap. But uh, look at that, that's really what I want to show you. Wow. I'm so excited to ride my bike into these mountains. Oh, a little bit of exercise, getting my heart pumping, makes me feel more grounded, more at ease. And you know, when I come up to the top of a hill, whether I'm running or biking, I always kind of tap my heart and say, thanks buddy, good job. My friends, look who I just met in real life. Hello. It is Sam. He has an incredible Instagram. Last summer, he rode his bike across the country with his yeah. dad and he yeah. went pretty viral. He makes amazing short videos. Many of you know him. And you're gonna ride the divide, right? Riding the divide, you're riding the divide too, right? Hey, what a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a dream to meet Ryan. I've been watching his videos forever. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked right now. I'm stoked too, man. Yeah. We need more people making good quality biking content that inspires people yeah. to get up out on their bikes. More people on bikes, that's a, good, that's a better world. That's that, all I can think of. It's a way of. better yeah. world. So what inspired you to do the Tour Divide? Tour Divide, so I did the US Tour last summer. Before that, I had gone around Lake Michigan. And it's just, it's kind of like, what's next? What's next? And yeah. So you, Lake Michigan was about, about a thousand miles with my dad. And then we went across the US and then trying to go, what's next, what's harder? And the Tour Divide just looks epic. Beautiful views the entire way. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm super excited, shooting for maybe 30 days of riding. You know when you see a bike like this, it's a Tour Divider. I have a new friend, Chris, how you doing, my friend? I'm good, I'm good. Good, so what are you doing out here? Uh, this is my first ever ultra cycling event, so I'm packed for comfort in the beginning. Uh, I got my bike from our local bike co-op, Neighborhood Bike Works in Philadelphia, where I'm from. Um, and I just built it up from there. And everything is my old camping gear from when I was a Boy Scout, so. No way! You know, tried and tested. I just walked into a Christmas store, and this is the perfect place for me because if there's anything that I love, maybe even more than bikes, it's Christmas. Hey, Duzo, man, good to see you, brother. I've been, actually, my brother and me were saying, you know what, you're going to go do the uh, Tour de Vile race, and you're going to meet your guy, Ryan Van Duzo. <laughs> well, so, I'm going to meet you. Right, right. Yeah, man, right. What, what are you doing out here? What inspired you? Well, honestly, a lot of people inspire me, namely you, People like Leo um, Wilcox. Yeah, with Leo Wilcox, a guy named Sofian Sahili, yeah. uh, a list of others. Uh, but what happened was, I lost my car a few years ago. I saw I had a mountain bike sitting in the house. I'm like, Ryan, where is his bike everywhere? Why don't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I started riding my bike every day to work. And I saw Ryan's video about the Great Divide. Yeah. And I said, you know, one day I'm gonna go out there and ride about two weeks of the Divide Trail. But this past fall, I just had an epiphany. Some told me, you know what, you gotta go out here and race the race. So without any real previous preparation, I started saving my money, bought me a brand new bike, uh, stopped buying all the supplies. And when they tell you that this race is free, oh, it's free to ride, <laughs> but it's super expensive. Yeah. And next thing you know, People were like, well, how are you gonna get to the race? I said, well, I think I'm gonna ride to the race. So I rode up here from Memphis, Tennessee, 2,300 miles to the race. Uh, that was my first time riding across the country or any type of long distance. I'm most looking forward to just the challenge. You know, I wanna push myself to the limit, see how far I can go. Yeah. And believe it or not, I have never backpacked a day in my life. Yeah. Including today. Yeah. Because on the way up here, I stayed in hotels. Oh, okay. You know, so this is going to be my first time literally sleeping outside since I was a Boy Scout. Okay. So people was like, why would you start your bike packing journey with the biggest race <laughs> in the world? And I'm like, well, why not? These are some of the bikes outside of the bar. Look at this one. Look at this homemade 
bag type situation they got here. What are you uh, most looking forward to out there? Um, I've never been to places like Montana um, or like the more remote parts of Colorado and Wyoming. So just seeing the new scenery from a different perspective out on the bike and um, yeah. How long, how long have you been planning this and dreaming about it? About a year. Um, for a while, I knew I wanted to do a long bike trip at this point in time, and then I stumbled upon the divide, and it, it kind of clicked that that was going to be the thing. So, yeah. how old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Are you the youngest? I'm guessing. Um, youngest to solo it. Wow. Yeah. And what inspired you to do this? I don't know. Just just being out there on the bike. And what kind of training have you been doing to get ready? Lots of long rides. And yeah. Yeah. Just riding around. Yeah. What do your parents think about you doing this? They're pretty supportive of it. They like it. Really? That's so cool. Yeah. And you're from where? Uh, I'm from Idaho. So you're used to the mountains and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to out there? Just being able to ride the bike every day. And like when you're in a car going through the country, uh, everything's going like just flying by you. But when you're on a bike, you just get to see everything and just experience it. So I think I know you or I've heard of you. Who are you? Ryan Van Dusen. Oh, I'm Crazy Larry. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Oh, God, Ryan. I'm so glad you're here. I started uh, doing a little cheerleading when there was four guys. And then it went to 12. And then it went to 15. Then it went to 25. And then I said, I want a family feel. So everybody became my family because I don't have, I had a bad family life. So I go, I'm coming out west and I'm going to have the family feel that I wanted. So everybody out there, you guys are my real family. What can we expect tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, we're going to see about starting at 8 o'clock. We usually road call as everybody meets at 7. I shout out, everybody, get your bikes and hop on your bikes. We're ready to do the Grand Depart Crazy Larry Loud Cheer. Cheers. It's so great to finally meet Ryan you. The You're house. the legend. You're the legend. Pay it forward, everybody. Be kind to one another. I it'll, love that. It'll serve you well. Absolutely. Cheers, man. Just met a Canadian. We got <laughs> Noah in the house. Noah, how you doing, brother? I'm good. Good. Yeah. Feeling excited, also nervous though, but glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. How long have you been dreaming of this? Uh, only for like the past, I don't know, like six, seven months. Yeah. Uh, I've known about it for like the past decade, I think, ever since Ride the Divide by Mike Hall and that documentary, but I think it really came about in the last uh, seven months. Yeah. What are you hoping to learn about yourself out there? <laughs> it's, a <laughs> it's a tough question, but you're going to learn a lot, I promise. I think truthfully, just like, more about who I am, um, what maybe I'm willing to put up with, who I um, I am, like, just when I'm at a, a low point, um, what I can push myself through. Like, I know I can do a lot, but I think this will test me uh, to some limits that I've never been. Yeah. And then ultimately, I think just, like, growing. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm this part, like, no one right now, but, like, who knows who like i guess yeah the noah in 25 the noah, days the noah might 25 be a different days will guy be like very different and i i'm excited to see that person i think i'm ready i think i'm ready time to leave the comforts of my hotel room and head head out that way huh thank you cozy bed I don't know when the next time I'll get a hotel is, but it's not going to be tonight. I got a great night's sleep. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling more relaxed than yesterday. And I just got to remember, all I got to do is go ride my bike. Whoo, here we go. Feeling good. Good morning, dear. <laughs> all right. Just giving myself a little self-talk, little, little motivational speech. Really just thinking about how beautiful this is all gonna be in so many different ways. And how I get to just explore myself. <sighs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Explore my heart and my soul and see what I'm capable of and uh, just push it and have fun and make new friends. I've been saying all this the whole time, but that's the main goal is just to connect with myself, connect with nature. <sighs> and connect with something maybe I don't even know that's deep down inside of me. So the official start is at the YWCA. All right, here we are at the start. Look at all this excitement. 
It's Randy. It's me. Oh, How's everybody? Oh. I'm ready. I'm feeling How do you good. Feel? I feel good. I feel a little bit of everything. I feel nervous. I feel it's a anxiety. Bit of nervous. Yeah, you we know, all, we, we all do. So, but it's yeah. gonna be a fabulous day. Oh. Yeah. Hi there, sweetie. Hi there. Oh, I needed to pet a dog. There goes a wave of people. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's the faster people. I'm the slower people. I'll get, we'll get to my time soon enough, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna pet this dog. Oh, oh yes. I am riding the one and only Pinion Bell Drive Priority 600X. Yeah, the my only brother. bike designed for the Tour Divide. How you doing, man? Good, are you ready? I'm ready. Mommy's gonna be okay. Mom and Daddy's gonna be all good. Hey, don't worry. Yeah, have fun out there. You're all crazy. Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun, man. I'm so excited. This is like 2024. We have like a historical moment going on. There's a kid, 15 years old, out of high school, and he decided like I'm doing something exciting. So what an example. And then there's there are there are guys that are back like six times right now. So that's got to speak volumes. And there's guys that are like 72 years old, 69 years old. Yeah. So I have a new friend here, Adam, all the way from New Zealand. Hey, yeah, man. I hear there's a lot of Kiwis here. There are. We've got a few crew. Yeah. That's that's cool, yeah, man. Yep, yep, we've got a few here. And why are you here from so far away? Well, because, so I came two years ago and tried to do this and it didn't go well. And uh, so the COVID bought me, uh, caught me and bit me hard. And so I'm back to uh, make my way to Mexico this time. And right it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Right on. Well, I wish yeah. you all the best. Thanks, Ron. And you have some Cheers. kids you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yeah. So, hey, Seb. Hey, Tom Bomb. <laughs> I, love I miss it. you guys. And I'm yeah. going to see you in, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Right, right on. on. Oh, man. This is so fun. I'm so distracted. It's taking my mind away from all the, the nerves that I've had and just out here just giving high fives and handshakes and hugs to everybody here we go let's go have some fun here we go everybody here we go so i just met <laughs> melissa here Hi. and she said i'm a fellow rpcv you know what that means returned peace corps volunteer where'd you serve tanzania nice how yeah. was it i loved it you know, a lot of people here are very jealous of my kickstand. <laughs> you say the words, I got this, I got this. The Tour Divide will dish out so much challenge from hypothermia to bears to flats to, oh my God darn, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you say the words, I got this. It reverses the negativity in your brain and you will make it through everything. Here we go, here we go. Thank you, Crazy Larry! Yeah, baby! Woo! Here we go, here we go! Dream come true right now. Whoop, whoop, how we feeling? Good. Yeah! Good morning! Right. Have a good one, Woo. Sam. Hey. Good morning, good morning! All right, here's the official start. Bum, ba -da. I can't believe it, I've, I've seen this moment in many Tour Divide films, and now I'm living it. It's pretty exciting. So my goal today is just to ease into it, not get caught up, going fast, into race mode, and just slowly get my legs going and warmed up. What does that mean as far as mileage? I'm not sure. I'd love to go about 100 miles. With every revolution of my pedals, I feel myself just calming down. My blood pressure is lowering and I'm just feeling better and better. <laughs> 24 hours ago, I was feeling so nervous. <laughs> and why? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's a race? It's only a race because I'm trying to challenge myself. Other than that, it's just another bike adventure. Good morning. Ooh, we just popped out of the woods. And it is beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Sharp right turn, looks like. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! These mountains are incredible. It's 
So I just uh, made a new friend, Liam from England. How you doing, bud? Hey there. <laughs> How did you get over here? I sailed here <laughs> from the UK. That's amazing. With my bikes on board. Did you have a trainer on the boat? I didn't. No, it's kind of hard when the boat's rocking around so much. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we'll see how the race goes. Woo! Maybe I get a picture with you sometime. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can do it right now if you want. Let's do it. No we'll time do it. like the present. My sister-in-law's like, you got to meet Ryan, man. She's just like you. She's just like you. <laughs> that's cool. She, she's All right. <laughs> nice Thank man. Thank you man, I'm Nick. Yeah, Nick, I'm good Ryan. Yeah, right. nice to meet you Take brother. Care. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers, good to see you. Enjoy. Wow. Inc incredible. Nice. Courtney, what is up? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed than I was uh, about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> That's how I feel too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And this helps. Look at that. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> we don't care about racing, do we? <laughs> This is truly incredible. Everybody said the Canadian section is mind blowing and you know, we're only 15 miles in and I agree. I've made another new friend, Peter from Perth, Australia. Yeah. What's inspiring you to be out here? Uh, Ryan, I try and set myself a challenge every year and uh, I found about found out about the Tour Divide in uh, January this year. <laughs> uh, and in five days decided, yep, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and that's my challenge for this year. I've ridden 34 miles, it's noon, and noon means lunchtime, and I packed a nice veggie wrap from uh, Tim Hortons, actually. I got this last night, so uh, it's pretty good 12 hours later. Hey, looking hey, good, looking buddy, good. You are the best, you are the best, buddy. No, you're the best. No, you're the best, trust me. <laughs> you having a good morning so far? Altitude is killing me. The altitude, yeah. 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 Yep. But your body will, will slowly acclimatize. I you, hope so. And you'll be comfortable soon enough, I promise. got some more single track and I have a new friend Paul from Toronto how you doing great right on we got Jay here buddy hey man how you doing I came here to get my butt kicked and guess what my butt is in the process of getting kicked <laughs> <laughs> but look you're smiling you. oh yeah I'm happy man yeah hey I'm alive baby that's right man so this is what it's all about the adventure yeah you know you come here for the pain and at the end it'll be some joy like I'm in a magical forest, the kind of forest where you'd see like little fairies flying around. Wow, look at that. Woo! Nice. This is spooky and I love it. Wow. <laughs> it's raining. That's a chilly, chilly Canadian Rockies rain. How's everybody doing? Right on, right on. Man, that single track was fun. I had a smile on my face the whole time. So I had always heard that the Canadian section is tough. And uh, so far, yeah, I would say it's definitely more technical than what I experienced in 2020. And Elk Pass here is steep. I'm about 60 miles in. Only, what, 2,650 miles to go? <laughs> you got Ingrid yeah. all the way from New Zealand. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit tired, a bit cramp, but all good. After this, it's all good. Wow, look at this. You don't always see a gate when you hit the top of a pass. That's pretty cool. That was a lot of uphill. 
<laughs> but I should get used to it because there's a lot of uphill on this entire route. That's kind of the idea. It follows the continental divide. I gotta stop and get a close up of these. Incredible. Look at that. The power lines aren't adding to the beauty, but you get the idea. Man, these are stunning mountains. Yes! I love you, Canada! <laughs> Time to get some cold Canadian mountain water. So I just met a new friend. His name is Super Duper Zachary. Hey! How you doing, win. brother? I won! Yes! I'm, I'm Misty! <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to all your friends. So, yeah. you just told me you saw a grizzly today. Yeah, we came across a grizzly, uh, one of the climbs. He was walking away. He was far away, but yeah, saw the grizzly. All right. Yeah. Maybe that'll be the last time we see one, which would be fine by me. Hi, guys. Hello. Bunch of free-range horses. That's so cool. Here's my first bear encounter. It's a little guy zooming off. Don't go get mom, please. I don't want to see your mom. Yeah! Look at you two cruising! So this is Cannon and Krista from Leadville. Obviously their bike is a lot different than most of our bikes. And they are cranking. I can't even keep up. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, breathing hard, trying to keep up with the tandem couple. They are cruising. There's no way I can keep pace with them. So I decided to surrender and eat a banana. Hey, look, I don't eat just junk food. Go, Alyssa, go. Looking great, girl. Yeah, you got it. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. <laughs> she is from Colorado, Colorado Springs. So it is 7 p.m. Getting towards the end of the day, although here it's light till almost 11. I'm looking at my mileage. I've got 96. And uh, there's something up here called Coco Claims which is notorious, super steep hike-a-bike. And uh, it's right at about, I think, mile 100. And I'm not sure I wanna hike a bike up into the snow right now. So I might call it a, a day here pretty soon. This is a pretty good spot, river right over there. I just washed myself off. Tents are right there. And can you guess what my first dinner of the Great Divide is? Dun, 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 dun. Of course. Beans. Gotta have my frijoles. I am fueled by frijoles. Look at those awesome swirly clouds. Ah, it is 9.30 p.m. and not even close to dark, as you can see, but I'm gonna go to bed soon because uh, it's time. I just brushed my teeth, I feel good, I washed off, I ate food. And I'm really grateful for this day one. You know, I said it at the beginning, but all my anxiety and emotions just lifted within five miles of riding. I was just like, ah, ah, this feels so good. Why was I so stressed out? <laughs> you know, and I felt like I really fueled well today. I drank enough water. I probably drank six liters of water today. And my body felt good and strong. You know, I haven't technically really been training all that much. I'm always in pretty good shape, but uh, didn't know how my body would feel with 100 miles on day one. And I feel pretty darn good. And uh, I mean, had so much fun <clears throat> meeting everybody at the beginning and along the way. And I'm sure that's going to continue for the next few days until we all kind of spread out a bit. But uh, this is fun. This is really fun. I love it. You know, it's no, there's no doubt it's hard. Like, I was huffing and puffing for a lot of the day, but 
The fun the funometer is way higher right now than the painometer. That might swap a little bit as I go down the route, but uh, right now feeling really good. And now it's time for Betty Bye. Buenas noches. Yeah, hey, you can't draft behind me there, buddy. <laughs> that is against the yeah, rules. Five meters, five meters. Come on. You need a lot more energy. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. You know, going through this footage has been therapeutic in a way. I've been home now for a month after I left the Tour Divide early. Oops, I just gave away the ending. But I thought I'd make these videos anyway, even though I don't have a triumphant ending for you to follow all the way to Mexico. I think you'll enjoy them to see what the whole race vibe was like. And if you like my videos, please consider joining my Patreon. I have this great community on there. You will get early release videos with no ads, and sometimes I do fun Zoom calls with my patrons, and you'll just have the satisfaction of knowing that you're keeping my channel alive. I will link it down here below. No pressure if not. And uh, thank you once again, and stay tuned for more from the Canada section of the Tour Divide.